Bruce playing? Or am I wrong? Uh, no, I don't think you're wrong. I mean, it's, it's definitely our plan A is Caleb Plum. You know, we've made the team an offer. They've been back talking about, you know, I think it's, as I've said to you all along, you know, our, you know, that side would want to do the fight on, on Fox. You know, our offer is to do the fight on the zone. Um, I think that certainly if that fight is not made this week, then that fight will not be happening in September. And the reason that we talk about Bivol and better be Evan, because that's who he's going to fight if he don't fight Caleb Plum. So, you know, we've made the message quite simple to those guys, which is just, you know, we want an offer. If you want us to do that fight on Fox, we want an offer to do that fight, just that fight on Fox, and that would be considered. And we have no problem doing that. Those are the words of Eddie Hearn as he gives us the 411 about Canelo Alvarez and Caleb Plant and what's going on between the zone and the PBC. Okay, we know Caleb Plant is a part of the PBC universe. And Canelo Alvarez fights on the zone fight by fight basis, which his promoter, Eddie Hearn, manager, Eddie Reynoso. So that's what we have. And we know the back and forth on the offers that were sent to Caleb Plant versus um, Caleb Plant's response or whatnot and what two and both sides want, okay? And this is what we're looking at. We're looking at a standoff. We're looking at um, Al Heyman and um, Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn wants it on the zone, primarily. Um, Al Heyman wants it on PBC, but with a twist, okay? What the problem is, it's not the network. Okay, it's the other opportunities that PBC is trying to get from Canelo. And what they're trying to do, they're not just trying to make a, a Caleb Plant fight. Okay, what they're trying to do, they're trying to make Canelo sign a three fight deal with PBC Fox in order for him to stay to, at PBC, you know, and they're using. Excuse me. They're using um, Caleb Plant as a pawn. That's basically all it is, and it's not right for Caleb Plant, you know. And I, 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 th I want people to understand that when you have an opportunity like this, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Okay, this is not something that he's going to have. You know, the projected dollar amount is ten million dollars, but it's different. It's more than that with Caleb Plant. He is the champ. He is the underdog. He is the guy with an incredible backstory. And this is his opportunity. And the network, PBC Fox, they're trying to use him to, to, to premiere a bigger deal for, for boxing, uh, premier boxing champions in Fox. Okay, whereas Canelo Alvarez, the whole idea of him fighting fight by fight or having being a free agent is he can make fights like this. He can make, he can go to PBC Fox and say, Hey, let's make this fight. We can host it on PBC Fox or the zone. It doesn't matter. As long as we have one fight, PBC Fox is in return trying to No, we're not doing that. We want a three fight deal. Okay. You're not going to fight Caleb plant three times. So it's not benefiting Caleb plant because once Caleb plant loses, his belt, or if he loses, he's out. And then there's two more guys on PBC that they want to fight. Maybe Jamal Charlo, probably for one. And um, I really don't know who else they could stick in there right off the top of my head from PBC Fox, but they're just trying to get the revenue from the cash cow of the boxing uh, forum, which is Canelo Alvarez, okay? So that's what they're trying to do. That's the holdup. And what Eddie Hearn is doing, he's giving that ultimatum. Like, listen, you know, we're going to fight. If you guys don't agree by this week, we're going to go elsewhere. So that tells you that um, Al Heyman with Fox, they're trying to get sole control over Canelo Alvarez. 
which if they did their homework, they know Canelo Alvarez don't like to be in control, don't like to be controlled by anybody, including the zone with uh, Golden Boy or anybody. That's why he got out of that contract. Damn what they're giving him per fight. It was up to his freedom because at the end of the day, he was lied to. OK, he was lied to under a stipulation that he had to fight a certain amount of fighters or whatnot. And he couldn't pick his fighters or whatever. And then they made it uh, clear that, hey, this is what Golden Boy promised us. But you didn't even know what Golden Boy promised us. So you were kept out of the loop. That's why he left Oscar De La Hoya, because Oscar De La Hoya wasn't all the way 100 percent truth with him, honest with him. And now for them to try to do the same thing, well, hey, give us these three fights. They're not going to they're not giving you those three fighters. They're just giving you three fights. So those three fights could be anybody, you know, so they don't want that. You know, Canelo doesn't want that. He wants sole control. He wants to be like Floyd because Floyd had that type of uh, choice in the matter. And this is where we're at, you know, and my counterpunch to that is, I think, um, between Caleb Plant and Canelo Alvarez, uh, I know Caleb Plant himself, those guys are very loyal to PBC Fox. Um, I don't know the things that uh, Al Heyman did for him. Obviously, those the things that he did for him and he put a, put them in position, no else, nobody else has done. So you can't say, well, uh, Al Heyman, they shouldn't trust Al Heyman because you don't know what they've done behind the scenes with Al Heyman or what Al Heyman's done for them. You know, the way Angel Garcia, for example, talks about Al Heyman, it's like, hey, man, I would die for that man. OK, well, obviously he's done something with that family of the Garcias to make them say and feel that way. <laughs> OK, so. You know, with Caleb Plan, he, you know, those guys are probably taken care of, you know, tremendously over there. And they don't want to uh, rattle any cages when it comes to their networks and, and advisors or promoters or whatever you want to call those guys that are in control and in control of those fighters. So um, but I do feel sorry for Caleb Plant if he loses and misses this opportunity based on some network dispute or desire that has really nothing to do with him. He's just the front runner. He's just a guy that, hey, yeah, you're the champ in this weight class, but we want two other fights with Canelo. So that may affect your fight because we don't really care about you necessarily. We want him to fight on this network two more times after you. So for one, they're saying, well, hey, um, if you if you get the fight, if we give you the fight, right, if you lose, it doesn't really matter if we get the two other fights. You know what I mean? But it's sad because that's bad for Caleb Plant because Caleb Plant just wants his opportunity to be undisputed, to become to have life-changing money. I'm pretty sure he's doing well, but to have life-changing money. He could retire after that. He could you could pull a Chino Maidana after that, you know, or Billy Joe. Right. He doesn't have to go back into the sport and doing anything else. He can take care of his wife and his kid. You know what I mean? Or, you know, the rest of his family versus what these networks are putting him or pinning him up for. You know, and I don't like that. Whereas Canelo, Canelo's free to do whatever he wants to. He wants to become undisputed 168. But this is getting in their way. And it just shows you that the reason why people have problems with the PBC working with them is stuff like this. They need to understand like, hey, there's other networks out there. You have Canelo Alvarez. He's a superstar and it would be an honor to fight on that network. And I think they're they're going about it too aggressively because it's like, well, why don't you do this, PBC? Why don't you just sign the contract for the one fight with Caleb Plant? Let him pr uh, premiere that fight over to PBC Fox. And then it's how you treat them while they're there, while they're fighting on that network to make them decide if they're wanting to, instead of trying to trap them into a three fight deal, you know what I mean? For one fight, you know, and, and I think that's rather aggressive and that's how you run people off. That's how you just to try to aggressively sell someone an idea and you're pushing that idea on them. And that makes people feel uncomfortable. And they're like, you know what? I'm not doing that because you know, I don't want three fights. I want one, <laughs> you know what I mean? In that one fight, is the one worth having on PBC if need be. Okay, so 
I think it's bad for Caleb Plant. I hope he gets his fight because he's a good boxer. And I would hate, because he's PBC Fox, to lose an event like this or to lose an opportunity like this based on something that has nothing to do with him. But anyway, that's my counterpunch with that. You guys tell me what you think of Eddie Hearn and Canelo threatening to uh, move on if this fight hasn't been finalized this week. Tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.